because it's like, like, I got, um, like, 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 I, I honest, remember, remember the night you, you, you do your verse or whatever? Right. And I called you and I told you, I was like, yo, um, you know, you told me how you felt or whatever. Right. I came down that same night and changed my heart. I hopped the train. I came down there the same right. night and changed my shit. You was gone. You know what I'm saying? At the yeah, time. Yeah, I Um. I said, yo, change. I, I never spoke to you after that. Huh? I said, change the, that part about the mic on your verse. Right. And it won't pertain to you. I, I, I definitely must have misunderstood what you said. That's what I, I said. I said, yo, change the part about the mic on the verse, and it will not pertain to you. Now, see, what has happened is, and you know what? Hello? Yeah, man. Nobody has asked me anything about that, you know what I'm saying? Right. On no level. I think your man, either Crew or Chris Lighty or Trackmasters in them, is running around blowing that up. Right. You know what oh, I'm saying? Right. It's one of them three, dog. But the reality is, you ain't even got to worry about me like like getting on the radio or like if somebody asks me, I'm not addressing it on that note. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you ain't gotta <laughs> it ain't going you ain't gonna catch like no slashing from me. Right. As far as like on your reputation or whatever. Or so bananas. Now, and here's another thing though, for the record, yo, um, I wanted you in the video, B. Yeah. That's another thing. And that, you know that that kinda is nasty. Chris Lighty and them and Def Jam and them shove Master P down my throat. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. DMX is on Def Jam. Right. So that's why you caught it. Right. That's why they didn't put you down. You see what I'm saying? Right. And they figure like they can get the Southern crowd or whatever. But you know, look, my thing is this, man. It's a good opportunity. It's going to be some light. It's going to be some shine. It's going to get off. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'll probably do it in New York live. When I do, you come on stage. You know what I'm saying? Right. We'll do what we gotta do. I wouldn't... You know, what, what? what's so fucked up, man, was like, 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 I always looked up to you, man. You know what I mean? Like, as a matter of fact, like, come on, man, I went out, I got the book, so it filled in some of the spaces with the way that I perceived you just as a person, you know what I'm saying? Of course. It filled in a lot of the spaces, and, and it's, it's ill, cause, cause, just like, if, if you were to put yourself in my position, I'm that same nigga that you were when you were 17. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when you was, you was just on it like that. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of it, the, the shit that I've read, that shit gave me inspiration. You know what I mean? Because like I've taken that path and not even, I, I didn't even realize it until I actually, I was reading your path. You know what I'm saying? Like we, I'm going through some of the same shit that you already went through. And like if you could put yourself in my position, like you always like, you came out on top, like, with Cool Mo D and Ice T, yo, you came out on top with them niggas because you, you brought it to them niggas and they brought it to you and then you brought it back and it was just back and forth, right? right. This particular situation is just so ill because I laid that verse already. Niggas got copies of the original record and they running around playing it, you know what I'm saying? And it just looks so fucked up, man. Right. And, like, in my position, like, where I'm at right now, I don't have anything, man. All I got right. What you want to do? You want to add fuel to the fire? 
fire? You want to, nah. like, you want me to, like, you want to address it? I mean, what do you want me to say? You wanna... I don't, I don't want to address the situation. I don't want to do what, what, what niggas is out there feeling, yo, know, cannabis needs to, I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. What I want to do is I, I want some, some ways me and you together doing something somewhere so niggas don't feel that way, man. Because, and you know what's also fucked up? I've been trying to get in touch with you through Chris. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. It's always an easy way to do that. It's a very simple way. All we gotta do, if you see, first of all, the reality is mentally and emotionally, are you capable of standing the pressure until it comes the time when we can make something happen, where we can kill a noise? Yeah, man, because all I wanted to do was talk to you. That's all I wanted to do, man. Well, well you can handle the pressure. Look, I ain't got no problem. Look, I got love for you, B. And you know what I'm saying? The reality is, that, like, a faggot nigga would say, you know what, I'm not calling that nigga, and if he makes a record about me, it's all good, because it's going to blaze me out on the street more, and I'll address it in my own way underground, you know what I mean? Right. I'm not trying to do that, B. I'm not trying to take advantage of you, and I'm not trying to destroy your reputation, nor get my reputation tatted with a bunch of unnecessary bullshit, black people always looking stupid at each other, right? All right? But what I'll say is this, all we got to do, you know what I'm saying, is when I get a... over the 
hip hop. I'm not caught up in the hype of LL Cool J. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not trying to flash knots on you. I'm not trying to flash gold chains on nobody. I'm not interested in disrespecting you. All I want to do is treat you like a human being and like a man. You know what I'm saying? But I expect to get treated as such. When I heard the record, that's what I felt. You know what I'm saying? Right. After we talked about it, I understood. So I said, yo, change the joint. I didn't try to play you. Right. Put it on my album like that. Right. But niggas ran around with the tape. Now, okay, because I made a move and I felt I was emotional, I can accept that. You made a move that I didn't feel comfortable with. We both did something to each other that didn't work. Now what we need to do is find a middle ground. The middle ground is for us to do a nice little underground joint together and just scream on niggas and just try to terrorize the mic, have them have some fun. You get a nice big up, I'll get a nice big up, and we'll both move forward, all right? All right, so all you got to do is just don't be, don't get hectic. Get my man, you got my man Don's page number. Right. You'll know how we moving, and we'll just set it up. And sometime in the next, like, now listen to me, sometime in the next two months, you know what I'm saying? Right. Two to three months, we'll make the joint. Do not fall victim to the pressure in the midst. In the meantime, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know I'm doing a show, you know what I'm doing. But I, what I'm saying is, we'll make it happen, all right? All right. I know you. I know you hectic, man. I know you hectic. That's you know why. Saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why I was trying to. Right. You know what I'm saying? My shit is very real, like that. I love that, and I'm feeling you. And you know, we're gonna. I'm gonna make it right for you, B. We're gonna be all right, man. And you're gonna be an ally. You're gonna be what? You're gonna be a soldier. I'm gonna be a soldier. You're gonna be part of my team. We're gonna move, all right? All right. All right, family. All right, yo. Yo, remember. Take the negative and turn it into a positive. No question, no question, no question. All right, baby. All right.